introducing new employees or giving credit for the task done or some projects done is very important in any organization so in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to do this particular slide in powerpoint and when i click here you can see here the animation comes like this i have just created four images of the employees and have given their the name what's the position and you can add some text likewise i have added some more text animation you can see here and without any just only the text is animated nothing else so let's see how to do this in powerpoint add a new slide go to insert shapes under basic shapes select parallelogram draw the parallelogram maybe this much size and you can make it something more something like this and if you like you can just increase the size and align center align middle and shape outline make it no outline then i'm going to insert one more rectangle maybe this much size and shape outline make it no outline and give some different color and then using the arrow i'm just going to rotate it and put it at the corner and control d i'm going to put it in the other side and then control d i'm going to make it three more so basically i want to cut into four so one two three and i'm going to add one more so four so i'm going to select all this orange rectangles one by one holding the shift key and then go to align and just say distribute horizontally so it gives you equal spacing between this then i'm going to delete this two and then i'm going to select all or you can press ctrl a to select all then go to merge shapes and just save fragment and just delete this part just select this and hit the delete key so you can see here the shapes four shapes are ready now then we can insert the images into it to add the images uh, into the shapes select the first shape right mouse click go to format shape and select picture or texture fill by default the last picture whatever you have selected it will come there or you can just go to insert from file and select the files you or the images you want to insert for example let me just go with this so you can see here and you can remove this checkbox and if you want to adjust you can use the offset here then i'm going to go for second again picture fill then it's getting the same image there so i'm going to change it from file let me just select some other image maybe this one then i'm going to select the third So I'm just searching for some good images, maybe this one and then the fourth. Maybe this. And then I'm just going to select all of these by holding the shift key and you can go to shadow and give some shadow effect, which I'm going to select maybe this one which is inside bottom right so you get up you're getting this kind of effect a shadow effect and at the background you can just go and change to some dark colors you can see here you can just adjust it and then you, if you want to give some more effect you can just do one thing press ctrl d to duplicate this come to the fill effect just say gradient fill 
I'm going to keep only two. I'm going to put one good color here. Maybe I'm going to add this color. And here I'm just going to make it white. And make it fully transparent, the white. And this also you can make it more transparent. And add it here. You can see here you can got some kind of a shading here. You can see the difference. If you like to add for all, just do the same step. Control D, make a gradient fill. And here I'm just going to select a different color, maybe orange. And you got the orange here. And once you have done that one, make sure that to group it together. Both the, this one. Control G to group it and I'm going to select this Control G to group it. Likewise, you can do for uh, this also. Now let's add the text. For before that, I'm just going to add one line here. A straight line. Shape outline, you can give it a white. And a dotted line. Like this and press Control D. Put one more here and the last three and then I'm going to write the name go to insert text box just make the font as white and or you can just say maybe she's a actress or you can just type whatever a uh, name of your employee and I'm just going to change the font to century gothic and then press ctrl d to duplicate and here you can write some more information also and with a different font color replace text i can say here and then you can add more detail below I'll just say equals L-O-R-E-M within bracket one. It gives me some Latin text. So this is also white, reduce the size. And I'm going to delete the unwanted text. And center align this also century Gothic. So you got this information. I'm just going to copy this, not the line. Control D to duplicate paste it here control D bring this side and control D here and then you can just change maybe is a makeup maybe is a director maybe she's a costume designer or whatever you can just uh, put all the text there now it's time for the animation go to animations enable the animation pane select the first image I'm going to just say add animation more entrance effect I'll just say basic zoom and this zoom I can say from out so it comes from the screen center then it goes to that particular place and for this I can use the animation painter here and this one should happen not from the out it should happen from in it comes like this then I'm going to select the animation painter for this and this should come from out and then I'll select this and copy it here and all this I'll just make it with previous and sorry this also with previous and I'll give a, a delay of 0.25 seconds. And if I play, it will come like this. And once this is done, you can just put this also. I'll say fly in. And this also fly in. And this also fly in. Or you can select one by or together and you can do it. 
and this also should happen after previous and this too should happen with previous and a little bit delay also here so if you see here like this it will happen and then you can add the wipe effect here from top this also after previous likewise then i'm just going to use the animation painter and just copy it here i'll select this animation painter i'll click here and then i'll select this click here and the line also i'll select and click on the line so likewise you can just do the animation painter for the rest too so all the animations completed let's see in the slideshow when i click you can see here it looks something like this that's it from me friends thank you for watching my youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe powerpoint university see you soon with more interesting stuff till then goodbye